point do you see yourself, you know, you, you stop learning and, and, and stop thinking so much on it, you just go out there and start making plays? Uh, I feel like that's actually starting to happen now, you know, um, each day uh, we install a little bit, uh, we'll install, install a little bit more, and so I feel like each day I'm mastering something else, and when we go back to those calls, we had previously, I got him down. You know, it's, it's just reaction after that. When you have all those experienced guys with Manti and Carlo and Dan, how does that help you in, in your development? Uh, it obviously it gives you a lot of confidence, especially if you're out there um, aligned next to them. But also, uh, you know, you can watch them really pick up different things. You know, you can uh, see like the intangible traits they have, different techniques. So you can just pick up the little nuances of the game by watching them. Even, even with your head swimming, we kind of heard your name last year a lot from when we would when we kind of pressed the coaches on the guys we're not seeing on the field. What, what kind of was did you feel you were have, you were doing well bringing the uh, scout team last year? I feel like just playing hard, honestly. Uh, you know, a scout team it could uh, kind of put you down. You know, just feel like oh, I want to get out there, but at the same time, I use it as an opportunity just to work on my own skills. You know, these um, going against the first team offensive line and the running backs. That's uh, going to be a, a great realistic look of what. I'm going to see next year on the playing field. So uh, I just took it as an opportunity to learn and develop my own game. And we talked about, you know, packing a man tie at the mic. It's one of those, there are not a whole lot of positions set in the world, but you kind of think that might be one of them right there. Yes, but do you get a little bit of cross training at the will? I think Coach talked about that. Um, actually, I don't. No. I just, just purely Mike. So uh, hopefully, um, when man is gone, having a great career in the NFL, uh, I can produce and do the job. Uh, just as just as well. The special teams probably the quickest way to the field this year. Uh, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've been working on it a little bit, so that's uh, that's another learning curve, just different. Um, so I'll have to get used to that as well. How weird was that for you last year, that not playing on Saturdays? I mean, that's probably the first time in your life you've been in that situation. Yeah, it was really weird not playing on Saturdays. Uh, what was more weird though was just that first Friday, actually. Um, sitting in the dorm room when you're used to running out in the field and that like the crisp fall air and just like wow, that that was probably the biggest difference for me. What um, when when Manti announced he was coming back, what, what was your reaction? You think you probably um, <laughs> was it a surprise for you? Kind of. Um, obviously, he's just a tremendous player, but uh, I think it was smart. You know, um, he has he can use this year uh, just as another springboard to even do even better. You know. Uh, Win the Buckets Award, you know. He just he can really just solidify himself as the top linebacker in the country, and obviously for me, it just gives me uh, another year to learn some more, you know. So uh, I'm thankful for it. You know, it's going to benefit me as well as him a little bit.